More nuggets. Okay. Uh, quick video log um, before I start my day. It's 8.20. Uh, so, a couple of things. Firstly, weight check-in. So, I weighed myself this morning, because I tried to remember, and I've lost three pounds. So, the video log yesterday or the day before, I'd gained weight. So, I, I think my scales are wrong. I, I, I don't think there's any way of knowing. My wife said she thought I'd look like I'd lost weight. She's just saying that to make me feel good. This big, you, you can't tell if I've lost a couple of pounds. Um, I'd, I'd need to lose like a limb <laughs> for her to notice. Um, so I think, you know, every time I get on my scales, they're like, fucking hell, dude. <laughs> so um, uh, I've checked the scales, actually. They're, I'm not over the safe working load. I do... I can't, they can measure me. They go up to 400 pounds. So I'm just about under that. Um, but I think, um, I think I'm just basically, I, I think I'm pushing the limit, shall we say. Um, I'm not near 400 pounds. But, uh, so anyway, apparently I've lost weight. But I'm doing better on it. So I'm trying in. But right now, I'm 272. I actually, so I did this thing. I weighed myself before I peed. <laughs> And I was 273, and then I peed, and I was 272. P weighs a pound, apparently. Um, so, which actually just kind of shows to me that I don't think, because I don't think it does. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's early morning. Um, the second thing is I wanted to talk on is stubbornness. So I wrote a note about this, actually. So, um, my wife runs accountability groups. I think I've mentioned that on here before. And basically, it's for artists. And so what it is, is uh, it's artists who have a lot of talent uh, or have no talent. She'd probably take everyone, but she, she tends to focus on people that she believes in. Um, who don't have motivation and fighting spirit for whatever reason. She's Part of her job is to find the reason they don't. Uh, and just kind of drift through life and don't focus on their work and never realize their potential. So... She's like a life coach. She doesn't call herself a life coach. Um, she's, she's into accountability because cause it's very much about, as a community, I can't remember her phrase now. She's a phrase she uses, but as a community, uh, she teaches them to experience the joy and enthusiasm of the process. And they get together as a group and hold each other accountable. So she tried to help me, right? Uh, I wasn't ready to join the group. Also, I know some of the people in her accountability group, so it might be a little bit weird having her husband in one. Um, so we did private sessions, right, where she talked to me. And the first one went well, and I was engaged. And I'll be honest with you, I was pretty nervous about doing it because I thought, you know, we're married, and I, I don't know, I was worried about what it would do to our relationship. First one went pretty well. It's how I put the uh, why not me thing on my board. It was something she suggested. She does like weekly goals and tasks and I did that and I engaged. Second one I was a bit more nervous about but I did my best and we kind of got through it but it kind of went off. The third meeting went terrible and I bailed. I'm like I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do it. Um, and I pulled out and it was tense and it was awkward and she was upset because she felt she'd let me down and I was upset because I couldn't commit. And then something happened the other day while I was writing. And what happened was that I realized that the change I've seen in myself in just the last two weeks, basically since I've been doing these video logs, is that I've established writing hours, right? So I've established, okay, you get up in the morning, you go to work at nine o'clock in the morning, and you write for three hours. You know, you do at least nine till 12, which when you're writing, I know that sounds like a very short work day, and it is, but you at least write from nine till 12. No matter what, you write, you shut everything down, and you work. Now, I then work longer as well, but you can kind of cut yourself a little bit of slack after that. But you sit down, you work those three hours. Everything else is bonus. When you have an office job, you work that you're there for eight hours a day. You don't work eight hours anyway. So um, basically my change that I've seen in the last two weeks, my, my, my feeling that I'm feeling a bit more connected to my work and a bit more positive about the future is down to that. She told me to do that. That's part of her accountability thing. She said, and she said, start with an hour, right? 
She said, that's your goal. Get up every day and do an hour, do an hour. And it seems obvious when we say it now, but it was her that did it. And yet I pulled out of the accountability group because I was getting nervous. I was worried about what it was doing to our relationship. I was frankly worried about the status of our relationship. Not, not that there's a power in our relationship. I think we have an extremely healthy marriage because I'm a lot better at it than I was. Like I, I, I've mentioned on my logs that I was, I've been married twice and I wasn't a very good husband on my first one. I'm a lot better at it now, right? Uh, we've got a lot better. Our relationship is a lot healthier now. You know, we've been married for 13 years. Uh, we love each other to bits. I think, you know, it's very, very, very good marriage. We're soulmates. This is, you know, the rest of our life is assured. We're in the right place. Um, but I was worried that the status would be wrong. I was, it just felt a little bit, I don't know. I just didn't like it at all. I didn't like being told what to do. I didn't like, I felt ashamed that I didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't like feeling weak in front of her. All of those things led to me saying, I don't want to do this anymore. It's not right for me. But then I realized while I was writing, what actually happened is that she was right and her advice fixed me. But my ego got in the way. And I, 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 I had to acknowledge that, that although the method of the way that the information came in didn't work for me, the accountability group just doesn't work for me. It's just not who I am. I can't do that. The message fixed me, right? But my stubbornness was what I had to overcome in that moment. So I had to go talk to her and tell her, hey, I want you to know, and it actually worked out great because she was having a bad day, so she needed to hear it. But I needed, I was thinking about it during the day. I was like, I need to tell her, hey, you know, you've seen this change in me and I'm waking up in the morning and I'm, I've got purpose. And I'm like, hey, babe, I'm off to write. Um, you did that, that's, that's you. You know, you're, you're, you did that. And I know you're feeling bad about the, the, the falling apart of our little accountability meetings. But actually, it worked. The fact that we're not meeting it hasn't changed the fact that what you did was successful. Um, so I had to overcome stubbornness to do that. And the fact that I didn't, as much as I wanted to complain about or, or, or moan about the fact that I wasn't pushing forward in my career, someone was there to help me. And I had to, I have to learn a way to overcome the shame of feeling like someone can see where I'm failing. You know, I know this is a bit rambling, but I wrote it down because it was important to me. I said it a lot better to myself the other day. Being wrong about being told what to do. Yeah. So it's basically just trying to become a better man, understanding that, you know, when, when it's it, a lot of it's about status. I think it's just about being a man and being a husband and, you know, I felt so ashamed when I was in that accountability group with my wife and she was telling me, you need to do this and this and this. And she doesn't say it like that. It's not, you know, that makes it sound awful, but she's like, well, you can work on writing hours. You can work on getting up early in the morning. Have you thought about doing this? What about if you, if you, every day you look for a new outlet for your writing? What if you, you, you find a group of writers and you talk to them every day? What if you reach out to a, an agent every day? Cause I don't have an agent. I do have an agent in England, but um, that, that relationship is my brother actually, but you know, I'm not making money. So it's a waste of his time for me. And he's in a different country. He's in England. Um, but, but she's like, what if you reach out to an agent every day or, and find yourself a manager? And she's found a publicist for me who I haven't called. So she keeps trying. Right. But I feel challenged when she's in my shit, you know, and it's my ego in the way and it's like I'm mad I don't need help I don't need help I do I do need help of course I do otherwise I would be successful I'm a good writer I know I'm a good writer when I write um, so I've got to overcome that and I've got to accept that, that this is something she's very good at um, I have accepted it I just have to find a way um, to um, or maybe I'll just never be able to be in her accountability group I think we just need to find a different way to talk to each other about it you know, or at least she, the, 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 the delivery of it, how I learn from her. I, and it's my job because I can't fit into, she has a method the way she talks to everyone and it works for everyone except me. So it's my job to approach her and say, can we try it this way? Um, and we had an idea yesterday, which is rather than having these big, long one or two hour meetings, 
Um, because what happens is when we sit down for one or two hours, after about half an hour, I start to feel depressed. I'm like, God, for just moment after moment of what I'm doing wrong, and it, it overwhelms me, and I'm like, run away, run away, get out of here. It's like being in school, right? Uh, or it's like an exam. That's what I said yesterday. It feels like an examination. It's like everything is being pulled apart. I can't handle this. I don't want to be scrutinized. I, I want to disappear. I want to hide. I don't want to be seen. Um, so we came to a conclusion that, or, or we mentioned the other day, that maybe just bite-sized chunks, maybe just check-ins, where she does her, her, her therapy with me, which is basically what it is. Her, her, um, she just checks in and coaches me a little bit from time to time, gives me her little tidbits of knowledge and, and, and advice, just five minutes here and there, you know, we're having lunch together. Uh, and she says like, hey, have you tried doing this? Or like, how's that thing going? I think that helps because I'm usually in a better frame of mind in that moment. I'm not feeling cornered. You know, sometimes I even I'll ask for the advice. And yes, it's ridiculous and it's childish of me that she has to work around that, that you have to find the right moment to pick it. But I'm working on it and I think it works better for me. Um, so I don't know where this went, but this is a video log. So fuck it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go out and write and hopefully have a good day. I hope you have a good day too. All right, you little nuggets. Go seize the day. Take control. Cheerio.